Hey there. I'm going to be showing you how to make a summoning mechanic with circuits version 2 and circuits version 1. Let's go. So what this does is you're going to press this button right here and it's going to give you a watch notification. You're going to type in the player you want to summon's display name. And then when you click OK, it's going to teleport them to wherever you put the spawn point so that you can summon players to you if you want to. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into your watch, backpack, and click use on your maker pen. Now you're going to want to go in the top left to open palette. You're going to go into other gadgets under gadgets right here. Third page, you're going to get a trigger zone. You're going to want to drag this wherever you want the summoner to work. So if you want to be able to summon players in your whole map, you're going to have to drag this across the whole play area. Or wherever the players are going to be. Alright. I'm going to move this over a little bit. So I can reach the pins on it. We're going to need to reach these three pins right here. Next thing we're going to want to do is go into math chips. Grab a compare chip. Place that right here. Grab a compare chip. Go to game chips, second page, grab a roll chip, and a roll mapper chip. We're also going to need to go into other gadgets. Um, believe it's second page and grab this respawn point right here. Um, spawn them where, wherever you want them to be summoned to. I'm going to spawn it right here. Then we're going to wire the green pin on the trigger zone to this red pin on the roll mapper chip and then wire the red pin to the uh, red pin over I'm sorry the green pin to the red pin Oops. green pin to the red pin configure this green pin to one and then wire the red to the spawn player here now on the uh, respawn point, which is the green on the respawn point. Wire that to the red pin on the compare chip. Then you're gonna wanna configure your new role. You're gonna put its name as summon. Then you're gonna configure your role mapper chip. Click on role mapping and click on summon, that new role you just made. All right. Now we're going to do the circuits version 2 part of it. Let's get into that part. So for the circuits version 2 side of things, we're going to pull out our maker pen, go into our palette, and then we're going to spawn in a button version 2 under gadgets, circuits version 2 gadgets, and button v2. I'll put that right there. We're also going to need a prompt local player. We're also going to need a get player by display name. Get player by display name. And we're going to get a player add role and a player remove role. We got a player add role right here. And we'll get a player remove roll it's right there we're also going to need a delay delay and that's all of the circuits we're going to need uh, now we're just going to need to wire them up so once this button is pressed we're going to wire that to the prompt local player once it's complete we're going to wire that to the player add roll then the player add roll goes into the delay and once the delay is, or after delay, right here in the middle, we're going to do the player remove roll. We're then going to need to wire the player under pressed to, actually, that no, we, we actually uh, don't even need uh, this right here. Because this is for local players, so it's just whatever machine the, the chip runs on. What we are going to need is to wire the player from the get player by display name to the player add roll right here 
and we're gonna wire the purple pin of the get player by display name to the response of the prompt local player. We're gonna configure this prompt title to summon and the prompt to player's name. And I'll put a colon right there so it looks a little bit better. I put name. <laughs> name. All right. Now we're going to need to configure the value of the player Admiral to summon. It's same thing as you made that roll chip over there, whatever you named that. And then we're going to wire the player remove roll also to summon. Then we're going to wire the blue pin on the delay to uh, 2. We also need to wire the player remove roll's target to the get player by display name. So now you'll see that if I press this button, I'll get a watch notification. And it's asking me for the player's name. Now, if I just put keyboard spam right here, you'll see, and I stand in this trigger zone, nothing will actually happen. But if I put my display name, you'll see that it respawns me wherever we put our respawn point, which I put mine right there. Yeah, uh, so that wasn't too complicated. I hope you were able to follow along a little bit well. And uh, yeah, thank you. See ya.